Well, good morning there, folks. Wacky Weatherman here. It is a beautiful morning. As y'all can see, we're still in my place here. See? So, we'll be going back to the other place here today. Um, today, I want to show y'all something special. I'm also going to have this posted up on my Gerald's Music channel as well. So, um, but this right here, um, we're going to uh, take you on a little adventure today. This is going to be posted on both accounts so y'all can be able to get to see this. Um, there's Mr. Sun. Don't Mr. Sun look beautiful, pretty? It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be in the 50s today, so it's going to be beautiful. Um, I'm going to show you, take you all to where we used to, where I, I used to live years ago. So, about 20 years ago, huh? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it is really pretty outside. It is really pretty outside. We'll take a little stroll here. <coughs> Sorry. I got Mr. I got Mr. Because uh, I don't want to show the license plates here. Okay. Especially the blue one. Okay. So. But. Anyway. Um. Like a weatherman here. So anyway, how y'all doing? There it is. That's a, that's a real pretty blue. Let me tell you, huh? That's just awesome. So, um, what's it look like outside? Oh, dudes, it looks beautiful. It just looks pretty outside, man. Looky here. So, there's Mr. Sun. Mr. Sun is going to be shining beautiful. But having this Mr. Sun out is going to make all the difference in the world of us uh, going to doing what we're going to be doing today. So, leaves are off that tree too. So, um, zoom in. Ooh. I don't want to dim it. I don't want to dim it. That's, there we go. That's what I want to do. So. It is a beautiful day outside. You got the railroad tracks over there. So, but anyway, like I said, it is a beautiful day out. Today is the 28th of November of 2020. And I'm going to uh, take y'all with me today. And we're going to just have fun. It's going to be kind of a cool video. The traffic so we'll go back up so anyway we're gonna meet our friend Glenn later and he's gonna be looking at him a flip phone so James my man a lot of stuff happening but a lot of stuff happening so lots and lots of stuff happening so man it is beautiful out here today y'all it's gonna be beautiful so it's, it's not gonna be any better it's not gonna be I couldn't ask for it couldn't ask for it couldn't ask for any better weather so anyway i'll turn this back on here in a little while and see you guys then so you guys be groovy and i'll see you guys in the next video well i'll see you in the next segment so look up here here's mr sun <laughs> so groovy so anyway folks um i'll see you guys in the next one so wacky weather man here November 28th, 2020. And uh, welcome aboard. Let's go. We'll see you here in a bit. Uh, Alright, y'all. We're going to go. We're and heading and home. So. Yeah, I just was headed to Nashville. We got Willie like, Nelson talking, don't we, Wacky Weather Carter. Girl? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to yeah, take y'all with us. Our house show you stuff. Writing songs, and we've written seven songs. That How'd night. you like to go where you grew and up? The last song we wrote was "What Can You Do yes. to Me Now," and the next day my house burned. Oh, <laughs> oh my! So, amazing guy. As was Shel Silverstein. Yeah, and uh, one of the best writers I've ever heard, mm -hmm. Chris. And, you know, him and Hager, uh that's about says it, you know, when you're talking about songwriters. You betcha. Well, tell us, uh, tell these folks a little bit about this incredible book that you and Sister Bobby have out. This thing uh, was the most compelling thing I've read in years. It was just, I mean, 
Oh, Willie and Nelson got a new book. Switched story back and forth from brother to sister and back to brother again and to sister through the whole thing. It was amazing. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm back selling books again, I guess. <laughs> that was my old profession many years ago, you know. Door to door. Door to door. American Encyclopedia. So we're all getting ready to come to Ullin, y'all. I saw a swing set or slide in the back There's nothing door. in Ullin. I said, well, these people need books, man. <laughs> so I go knock on the door and try to sell them a set of books. I was selling books. And my trainer, a guy who was teaching me to sell, a guy named Jerry Sheehan, and we were in this house, this and we had just made a big pitch on Yeah, just keep, them, just keep straight, my dear. Floor covered with Take no us all the way to Mounds, and we don't have to do nothing. Go through Pulaski. The, the folks, the said, well, you know, welcome to Ullen. It's taking y'all around. I'm going to take y'all on a little trip we with us. Like Wacky this, weather, man. Pray about it. And Jerry said, well, by all means, let us pray. So, <laughs> so they went over in the corner and they knelt down and they prayed for a minute. And then they got up and they said, well, I don't guess we can get them. The Lord didn't tell us to buy them. And Jerry said, well, he didn't tell you not to, did he? <laughs> <laughs> and he sold the books. Not <laughs> only is there a, a hard copy of those books, but the, the audio version is so magical, and I've been listening to the audio version, and it's it's so wonderful to hear you and Aunt Bobby telling your stories in your own voices, and I have not heard a lot of those stories, mm. so it's it's wonderful, and, and I think it's just pure magic to hear y'all do that. Well, I, I think so, too. This, uh, I'll have to find that book on the NLS Bard, because, like I said... One I got all my books for free, y'all. Uh, I was glad to see her be able to get her story out there because, uh, you know, she's a special lady. Yes. She's a, as elegant in the book as she is in person. Just absolutely. There's a serenity about your sister. So. Has that always been there when you guys were growing up in Abbott? Was she always the serene one of the family? <laughs> Uh, this is great. What do y'all think of this? This here in Willie. You, when she gets mad, you can tell. Emmett's <laughs> <laughs> roads are rough. She's little, but she's huh? mighty. She's uh, mighty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, tell us a little bit about your Aunt Bobby. Oh, man. You know, uh, from as long as I can remember remembering, she's been that lady that is just... She is like an angel, like a true angel. And so. she taught me how to play piano. Nowhere near like she can play piano. I've been, been anyway, y'all, wacky with a man. These days, but just everything that she does, she makes out, the best fun. biscuits and gravy for oh. her. <laughs> yep. Uh, and just her, her wisdom. She's got such Let me a, think about biscuits and gravy. That don't a, sound a bad, do it? way of this, uh, this, for solutions for things that I oh shoot we didn't grab out of the can of biscuits did we it a lot simpler no, and a lot easier to see because she's just got so much love in her heart and she is as dad said she's a very wise woman and she has um, been through a lot of stuff and she's just a she's a warrior is what she is so my favorite memory is that I, I so every time I talk to her I save all of the it's good stuff, huh, Bumpkin? So anyway, we're taking y'all with us down memory lane. <laughs> That's something. Willie, you've got a new project in the works, volume two, with the Frank Sinatra catalog. It's absolutely stunning. That's all good. Thank you. Uh, I'm anxious to get it out there. Uh, one of my favorite songs on there is a song called Cottage for Sale. Uh, and I think we're going to pitch that one out for a single, maybe. But uh, I think I did the first time I heard Jerry Jeff Walker singing Cottage for Sale. And uh, he did a great job on it. There's been a lot of people recorded it over but anyway, the years. Anyway, y'all, Cottage for Sale. And, uh, I found all this out after I recorded it. I thought it was such a great song, but then I realized a lot of other people did too. If I can get that thing in there. It's uh, always been my favorite singer. And, uh, Thanks for Frank, Frank Sinatra. Did you like Frank Sinatra? Both of you guys are masters of phrasing. Yes. You, you really, really work 
the freezer. Well, this is, and, and then it's a particular right, what do y'all think? Caretaking. The degree of the uh -oh. Well, he was the one that uh, kind of let me believe that it's okay to go ahead and phrase any way you feel like it because uh, he did. And he yeah. sounded wonderful. Do I didn't sound How'd great. you like to live here, Pumpkin? So I didn't, no. I didn't feel Pulaski. comfortable phrasing hmm? more the way I felt. There's it, nothing in Pulaski. Y'all welcome to Pulaski. Way he would, James, my man, welcome to Pulaski, brother. And I don't Even guess I've ever phrased the same way twice. Yep. They used to have a grocery store. I bet you it went out of business. Awesome. Oh, yes. That's where, that's where you get that Carol barbecue sauce. That's... The new album that comes out this next year is called That's Life. Willie? With the Sinatra song. So, but anyway, we'll see y'all when we get in there a little bit. And uh, we'll turn this back on here a little bit when we whack it with a girl. Yes. All right, y'all. So, November 20, 2020. All right, y'all, we're here where I used to live. Look at that. Somebody busted the windows in it. It nice used to be a nice house. It had a brand new, it had a, it had a brand new furnace in it. They, Shawnee Development come in here and spent a lot of money on it. Then why you get up with him? Well, Luigi wanted him to move closer. The backyard. You can go in this way if you want. Huh? It's all weeded. It didn't used to be. Your, it didn't used to be. It didn't used to be. Oh, it smells. That's terrible. Huh? Good lord. This is grown up to high heaven. Ain't that terrible? Ain't that sad? It is. It truly is. But this is it, y'all. Yeah, I don't think it. Yeah, it's. It used to. It was a. It was one of the nicest houses in town, pretty much. Yeah. There used to be an old building back here, back this way. That's something. Yeah, they yeah they cut those trees down. That was the neighbor's yard. Yeah, that was the neighbor's yard. Yeah, this is where I used to play. That all used to be dirt. Huh? That used to be dirt. It used to be dirt. <laughs> there was no... Right hmm? there. A water pipe or sewer pipe or something. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, it was a nice. Busted windows. Took a lot of money. To, you don't want to go, you don't want to go in that house. Hmm? No. Don't want to go in there, huh? No. With the way that ceiling is? And look at that house over there. No. Hmm? Mm hmm. It looks like it's in bad shape. Yeah. They used to... Uh, that was one of the nicest houses that were here, you know, here in town. Yep. That's where we... This is where we grew up. Somebody busted the windows. They didn't care. You know, do, you know to do something like that? Yeah. That's ate up with termites. Your house is probably ate up with termites. Oh, I'm sure it is. Probably before too long. Yep, and right there was right there was 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 her bedroom. Yep, right, oh, right, o right over there. I get to see one of the. Yeah, look at that. It's rotten. The only thing you probably get to a foundation, maybe. Maybe. Oh, here's the, there's a, there's a, there's a room, there's a window to the bed, to the bedroom. 
used to be. Uh -huh. Yeah, so there was a wall over there. It was an old yellow house. Let me show the other side is just as bad too. What do y'all think of that? And there was his room. There's my grandpa's room. And apparently that, that screen's still in good shape. Yeah. That screen's in good shape. Yeah, boy. Yep, that was in to the front room. Yeah, boards. Yeah, that was to the front room. He's, look at that crap. The porch Do it? Oh yeah, there was a lot of time spent on that porch. Yeah, yeah see they cut the trees down. I planted a I planted that tree right here, but they cut it down. There's a big old tall tree. I planted it. I'm sorry, darling. That's something. I'll look at the other side. No more. We'll take off I guess it's all grown up I don't know if I see that. oh is it yeah. yeah I can't get through there yeah you can't get through there but that's it that's it oh it's falling in it's falling in Joe in the house yep yeah. look at that really bad shape what they'll probably do, they'll probably tear all these houses down and put a double white in here. Yeah. Just like they did, just like they did on the other street. Yeah, just like. I don't want to go in there. Like I said, I don't want to. Surely, I don't want to go in there. That is a shame. That was a nice house inside. You know. Screen. That's something. We used to plant flowers all the way around on both sides right here. The flowers. The steps. Steps are still solid. Look at that. Look at all that. Looks like a limb or something fell into the house and knocked everything down. And yeah, it probably did. Yep. Yeah. Probably did. <laughs> yeah. What is that? I don't know. It's part of old vacuum cleaner. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Man. That's terrible. They just let it go into waste. Yep. There's an old screen. Look like a screen might be in good shape, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's a shame, though. Yeah, isn't it? This is a nice house. Used to be banisters on on each side. This is crazy. That's a nice porch, isn't it? Yeah. A nice porch on the inside. Had the lights all the way around. What do y'all think of that? Old house. The lady that my grandma. It worked for my grandma. She had it. She owned it. She sold it to us. Remember when I was five, we moved here. So 30 years later, yeah, so the trees are gone. Yeah. Big old trees are gone. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's shot, ain't it? Yeah, it's shot, ain't it? Yeah, like, no I, like I said, I don't want to go in there. No way of fixing that house. Unless you knock it down and restart over. Unless you build another one like it. Yeah. But anyway, that's what you... That's what you get. Watch out, watch your step. Yep, that's it. And nobody is there. Now, that, look at that, look at that other house. Uh -huh. It's gonna be just like it. That, those were nice houses. Right next to each other. Yeah. And that right there was the used to be the video store. Oh. It's the library. Yeah. 
Now this is uh, where I grew up right here on this Delaware. There was a house on the street on the street down there that caught far a long time ago. Huh? They bought a brand new they bought a brand new big screen TV, gave like several thousand dollars for it in the house burnt. Cause the air conditioner. Yeah, that didn't used to be. That was a nice. Uh, that was a nice. That was a nice. That was a, that was a nice house. But that's what happens when nobody lives in it. Yeah. Yeah. And you gotta live in them. Yeah. And that it had like a truckload of insulation in the attic. In the attic. Sorry, like that. Ain't that something? But anyway, there y'all go. So you got to see it. Busted windows and the whole side's Yeah, gone. it's caved in. Yeah, I hate to cut them trees. I planted that one tree when I was like seven. Mm. There's a white pine. Mm. It growed about 90 feet. Wow. And then there was another tree over there. That's where I that's where I did the homework and did all that stuff. We had many Thanksgiving and Christmases over there. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to go in that house. No. All right, well, there y'all go. And we're going to go home and we'll see you when we get back home, won't we? Yeah. All right, y'all. That's a library now. Okay. That's the library. Then you had an old guest a store right there, the Robertson store, and then there's the gas station. So you go right. Right? Yep, you go right. Yeah that, yeah, that grass didn't used to be like that. That was all dirt. Ain't no telling what's buried out there. Then when you go up to Thistlewood, you go, then you go, uh, you go left. I gotta go back. This wood is right there. Yeah, you just got, yeah, you just gotta be careful. I don't bike all the way up through here. in the mounds really anymore huh no. not like it used to be y'all uh, look like something grew in it huh yeah okay so cape here we come Stay straight. You go across. You go. At the cross. At the yeah. stop sign. Which way? You got to cross the railroad tracks. I can't cross the railroad tracks now. Um, hang on, me, y'all. All right, y'all. Ooh, that's some pretty. That's some pretty scenery right over there, boy. Look at that. I probably should have took your shirt off. Boy, look at that. That is. That's pretty up through here. You guys get to see a little bit of adventure. Yep, all them leaves. Yeah, backyard's growed up. It didn't used to be. That was all dirt. You know? And all was dirt. There was hardly, there was no grass in the in the backyard. What do you think? Yeah. I grab a 
bit to the story it was they had been one night there was a we woke up here to a commotion outside when we looked outside there was a bunch of people sitting on top of the car there was a bunch of people sitting on top of the car he went out there and asked them nice he said i don't appreciate nobody sitting on my car would you get off of it and we got off of it and we went back in the house and then a few minutes later there they come they got back on it he went out there again and said look i told you all again i don't like anybody sitting on my, sitting on the top of the car so we did that one one more time and well they got back on it again boy it's just pretty up through here isn't it here's some more scenery that y'all ain't get to see james my man so so uh yeah Last time he did it, he had his he, he had his he had his gun. He had, his, he had that 22. Mm -hmm. He said, "The next some bitch I see get on, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow his ass off of it." Boy, they got scared and left. They saw that white pearl handle. Yeah. They got scared. Yes, it's pretty up through. Y'all gonna get to go through Olive Branch, huh? Olive Branch. And Luigi wanted him closer. That was the whole. That was the whole point. He wanted him closer. You know? Yeah. He said, "Well, Dad, I'll come see you every day." Come to find out, he didn't. Yeah. He just wanted to get him over there, and then that. like that house is going to stand much longer, huh? No, it doesn't. Because I don't want to go in there. No, you don't want to go in an in a abandoned house like that. That is no way you'd have to... It's caving in, huh? Yeah. The ceilings? Ceilings and the side of the house was and the, caving yeah, in. Yeah, it's bad. You wouldn't want to live in there, huh? No. And the other house, too. The other house looked like it's getting kind of bad, too. They had boarded up windows. Yeah. Boy, it is just beautiful up there here, y'all. Wow. It's just some amazing. <laughs> yep. But Cape, the Cape is this way. Be able to see the bridge, huh? Yep. Cause if you remember, we went here. We went this way before. Well, it's been a little while, but you see the bridge. Going through Olive Branch. It will be. Olive Branch gets flooded real bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, I planted. Yeah, I planted that one tree, and they cut it down, huh? There's some nice shade out there in the wintertime, in the summertime. Kayla's that way, Jones Boy's that way. Do we stay straight? You stay straight. Yep, you don't want to, you want to go that way. It's 127. Hmm? Do what? Just don't want to go that way. You want to stay straight. Then we'll be coming to, uh, yeah, that was 127. That'll go toward Thames and stuff. Carroll and Jonesboro. Don't want to go that way, huh? No. Want to stay straight. Then you go through all the branch. There's nothing of all the branch either. <laughs> Yard's filthy, huh? Yeah. 
that both of those other, that other house had aluminum siding on it. That white one? Yeah, the aluminum siding on the last one. That, well, that, that brown, that, that one house had, has, side, has uh, vinyl siding on it. Kind of get a little headache my sh my shelf. There used to be a little carport behind that White House, but that big tornado twister took that down. That was like '93. It took it down, boy. Boy, it was a bad storm. It was in that house with, during that. It was on a Friday evening. On Sunday night at eight seven central. This Sunday, Hallmark Channel and Candace Cameron Bure invite you on a merry adventure. Ooh, what do y'all think of the scenery? Ain't this pretty? Just follow your heart. Real you touch Christmas magic. Find your courage and kick up your heels. There's a new place like home. If I only had Christmas, the all-new official holiday movie premiere. This Sunday at 8, 7 Central, part of Countdown to Christmas, only on Hallmark Channel. Yeah. Probably just tear all three of those houses down and clean it up and put a nice double white over there. You know that? Is this what they did when we lived in uh, another house? There was another house. It had old brown siding on it. It was raw. It was that was a bad house. We had a, it was a green, we had a green bathtub in that house. Boy, isn't it pretty up through here? We all think of that. James, mommy, you better get some pics of this bubba. Yeah, look at this. Man. We're also known for our natural and vibrant rubies, which represented during passion. Or select a stylish necklace with the mound used to have a lot of stuff going for it. Order for its stall. So we store. I guess it's still there. Her heart. Our jewelry consultants in the car dealership and online will help you find something beautiful. Stop and shop still tree. open. Lunch box is still there. Will be a symbol of your love that will be treasured forever. We're going above and beyond to make shopping safer. Now you have a Boy, it's pretty up through here. Business, Shane Company of you can't see this up in the mountains. Huh? Invita Medical Center is one of the yes, world's the leaders in integrated personalized oncology. And for over but I mean, if it's like flat lands like this in the south, for a critical second opinion. this is to y'all, man. <laughs> your cancer is everything. I'm Dr. Dino Prado, the founder of Invita Medical Center. And I invite you to discover the powerful targeted treatment options you've been missing. Learn more at invita.com forward slash fight. That's E-N-V-I-T-A dot com forward slash fight. Welcome back. With potentially a Republican Senate against him, there is a lot of concern that Joe Biden will not be able to get much done when he takes office. But it is hard to overstate just how dramatically yeah. things are going to change in 53 days. And Biden is actually sworn in. Uh, this weekend, we're taking a look at some specific areas where a President Biden will have the most impact from day one. And we're going to start with foreign policy here. I am joined by Michael McFaul, a foreign ambassador to Russia under Barack Obama. Um, yeah, I'm just afraid they're not going to want to work with him. It. We got to start out with the obvious here. Um, and, Republicans and rather sell their soul to the, the devil than care about trying to who's in charge and try to worry about getting behind the president and make a country the best that it can be. They rather worry about Donald Trump and how he and how his church smell. Whoa. Well, that's going to make it incredibly difficult for Joe Biden oh, it was. to enter into a new negotiation with Yeah, it's beautiful up through here. If does not actually take the bait, then it's going to make it harder for Joe Biden and his relationship with Israel. How do you expect um, this time with Iran to change once Joe Biden is sworn in as president of the United States? Well, you're absolutely right that this assassination does make it harder for the Biden team to do what they had planned to do. Uh, remember, his national security advisor, so, Jake Sullivan, was one of the people that yeah, it's really, led the secret talks with you. If you want to live out here? Secretary 
Kerry joined those negotiations. And they have every intention no. of trying to get back to that. This makes it much more difficult to do. And second, yep, I used to ride my bike all over that block, all over that street. They've been producing uh, and rich uranium for years now. They have oh, now? Yep. times as much as they did when they originally was... signed the, the, their deal. And this time around, they're also going to have Russia and China on their side as we try to renegotiate those terms. So it's going to be very, I, I, you know, I, I'm happy that it's President-elect Biden and his team. Nobody has more experience when it comes to these kinds of negotiations than the team he's assembling. But it's going to be hard to get back to where we were in 2016. So I want to take through a couple places while I have you, um, because there's going to be a lot of countries on the main stage when Biden takes um, the Oval Office. That's a beautiful America. scenery, isn't it? You guys eat it up. It is pretty up through here. Yeah, Trump's not trying to. Trump's just a whiny little brat. The people spoke. People got tired of the way he was acting. People got tired of the way he was talking to people. Your attitude is going to show a lot about you. I don't want to be around somebody with, with a snot in those attitude. I don't want to be around drama. You don't want to be around drama. People don't need to be around negativity, do they? They don't need it in their life. And for them to say Donald Trump is the best thing, well... Sucks to be a lot of a lot of people. It really does. It's it's just a shame. They rather put him over their over their own country. I remember that when a Republican becomes president. But it is just beautiful. This this is nice scenery. Relationship to change under a Biden administration. Do you think this will be over 20 years ago? That 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 would have been a you would have liked that house, that would have been nice inside. Thanksgiving and a bunch of Christmases. I wouldn't want to live out here, though. There's nothing out here. Is there? And it floods out here really bad. You know? But y'all get to see that. Yeah, the carpet was brown. In my grandma's room was uh, uh, brown paneling. And the back porch was blue. Because the back porch was painted blue. Right timer, termites under all that wood, all that wood siding.
Lynn by about 99% of the vote. Um, former Ambassador Michael McFaul, thank you as always. Uh, good to see you this afternoon. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Uh, by the way, our conversation on policies and the fact that Putin is a Putin. So what will change in regards to race relations in this country? Yeah, not, not good. Yeah, man, a lot of, a lot of trees. It's really cool. Get to see scenery. What do you think, my dear? Yep. <laughs> but yet, yeah, all that. I spent a lot of time out in that backyard on the back porch. And, yep. About every day. Every Saturday. You buy an annual membership, you get another annual membership free. Just go to masterclass.com slash MSNBC to get an annual membership and get one for free. That's masterclass.com slash I got new, had new screen doors put on the, on the back and new big thick wooden doors with the peepholes. And Between the kitchen and the uh, dining room, you had the front room, then you had the living room, the dining room, where you could eat in the close to the front room. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. We have fanatics. And our fan favorite underwear, loungewear, and pajamas come in limited edition prints, perfect for gifting, but they sell out quick, so order soon. And there's no risk with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or its free guarantee. Shop Tommy John's Black Friday sale now to but. make sure your gifts arrive by the holidays. Go to TommyJohn.com slash comfort yep. for 20% off site-wide. Get 20% off for a limited time only at TommyJohn.com slash comfort. See site for details. Let's be honest about our daily oral care routine. It's a bit of a process. Most of us don't do it right, and nobody really likes doing it at all, leading to problems when we finally have that dental checkup we've been putting off. I'm Simon Enova, founder of... That took a lot to clean that up, wouldn't it? Yeah. Take a lot of, lot of time and effort to clean that up, wouldn't it? Maybe that'll... ...slim and simple to use electric toothbrush, a kid's brush they actually look forward to using, refreshing mints and watermelon anti cavity toothpaste, and floss that is refillable to reduce waste, all accepted by the American Dental Association. It is beautiful up through here, boy. This, this some scenery y'all y'all have never seen. Name's my man. Check that out. Customers today, quick refills start at just five dollars every three months. Go to getquick.com/teeth right now and get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquick.com/teeth. Spell get q u i p dot com slash teeth. We all want to improve our golf game to reach the next level. But what about when it comes to your business? Well, Morgan Franklin oh, right. Consulting does yeah. just that. Morgan Franklin Consulting is a national management advisor. Yeah, because, like I said, between the front room and the... I mean, between the uh, kitchen and the uh, dining room, there's that big old, there's a floor furnace. It was like city gas, floor furnace. Boy, it kept, boy, kept you warm in the winter. Piano in there. I plunk on and played on and stuff, you know. Yeah. No, would you call? back in there y'all this is just pretty scenery up there here
one size fits all. That's why we offer trucks, sprints, boxers, and boxer briefs in three proprietary fabrics. Our super soft 18 hour jersey, high performance airman X micro fiber, and anti-microbial silver made with digested real silver. Whatever your preference, we've got an option that's guaranteed not to roll, bunch, or chafe. And thanks to our signature rush loans, we keep you cool where it counts. And all that welded underwear is backed by our trial and guarantee. If you don't love your first pair, it's on us. What do you think? The first thing you put on Mac Weldon, you'll be glad you did. Get 20% off your first order at MacWeldon.com with promo code MSNBC. That's 20% off your first order at MacWeldon.com, promo code MSNBC. See, you know where you are? MacWeldon.com, promo code MSNBC. You know where you are? It's the time to take control of your career and your future. And Budget Blinds, the number one window coverings franchise in North America. All right, y'all. See, it, it's kind of quicker, isn't it? Yeah. And then to go all the way through Grapevine Trail and then Ellen and then go all the way, go all the way up through Mounds and whoosh, there it is. I think that cuts the time. I think that cuts the time quite a bit, don't you? Yep. All right, y'all. Y'all want to see? Y'all want to go across? Y'all want to see it? Y'all want to see the the bridge? And see where we go there, we can just Anderson go back to the same way. Pretty up there. Look at that, y'all. Damn, look at that. That's cool, ain't it? Look at over there. I love the fall time. It's getting a little warm. Isn't it? Yeah, we're getting close. Oh, yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna have for supper. Oh, we need to get some. Uh, Well, oh, we got, oh, we got all. Well, well, what well, do you say? We'll, we'll, we'll have that, huh? Um. Simon. Simon patties. You want that, or you want something else? Man, I tell you what, folks, this is beautiful out here today. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Yasmin Masudian. He promised supporters they'd get tired of all the winning, but instead, it's loss after loss after loss for the president and his Yeah, that's what he said. He said they're going to get tired of winning. A new court smackdown and a recount effort that actually increased Joe Biden's lead in one Wisconsin county. Uh, the count continues right as we speak. These are live pictures from the I don't guess. thrown away so I got much more than that. It's going to be a very hard thing to concede because we know there was massive fraud. So, no, I can't say that at all. I think it's a it's a possibility. They're trying to look between you people. Don't ask, don't talk to me that way. You're just a you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. While the president focuses on his new election president, number of cases, yeah, we're talking about now is 13 million. 13 million. We're getting a million every week at this point. And then the absence of presidential leadership. Yeah, like I said, it. I don't under, I don't understand why people like him. America's not going to lose this war. We'll get our lives back. 
Finally, something. Not there's probably not very much left in there. But that was month. That was probably a month ago. That was, that was a while ago. I had it with dip. I used it with. He used it as dip. But I think we got. Uh, I think we got him at. I think we got it. Got him at Walmart. Well, we did because we. Because that's when we bought the oil at Walmart. If you remember, we bought the noodles at Walmart. We got the. Uh, we got that at Walmart too. So. So, but anyway, y'all, welcome to the big city of Cape Girardeau. Need to eat them eggs too, don't we? Maybe we can have Teresa's in the morning. Because we do need to eat them. We do need to eat that stuff. But anyway, y'all got to see a little bit of piece of history. That's not a good history. <laughs> At the wrong time, you can do the right thing for the wrong reason. And then, worse of all, you can do the wrong thing at the wrong time for the very wrong reason. And so I'm concerned right now that this is what we're looking at with regards to this assassination. Without getting into the subtle nuances of whether this was an Israeli strike or okay, yeah. but coordinated with the U.S. And, and we can talk that. about that in the experience of the short shelf life of curtain the, the old yeah, that the house just needs to be either tore down or burnt down right yeah. all three of them huh anyway y'all welcome home man all right all right people and where is this going this is now making it extremely difficult for Iran to come back to the table, save face, and for Biden to re-execute a workable strategy for Iran. So, let's talk about what you mentioned, which is whether or not the United States knew that this, All right. knew that this assassination was going to happen, or if in fact maybe um, Mossad or Israeli oh, yeah. government officials shared this information with the U.S. Government. King's Highway. We're going to go by Dr. Huckerman Bees. Huh? But anyway, that's it. So I'll see y'all when we wrap this trip back up. So we'll turn it back on here in a little bit. Alrighty, folks. As y'all can see, it is dark time now. Um, so, yep. We're back. Let me get that door to shut. Yeah, we are back. Where? Okay, so here's the deck. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> It's groovy. So, um, but everything is dark. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, thank y'all for riding with us today, and you guys getting to check out, getting to check out my place. Um, so, we'll probably be back there and show you some and show you some more videos. But I really don't know what else more we'd be <coughs> we would do there because um, you get to see it and. It's not really, I mean, what are you going to do at an old house or whatever, you know, just, I mean, I guess you could probably just go there and just look more, but, yeah, I'm going to smoke a cigarette, boy, <laughs> but anyway, um, it is sad about how a place like that has to run down, like I said, man, that was a nice, that, that was nice, um, so we moved so we moved from there in, uh, well, about April of, about, uh, first part of April of 2000. So, yep, new millennium, new school, <laughs> new decade, millennium, new, new school. So, 15-year-old kid, uh, didn't really want to leave, uh, didn't want to leave there. It was really, it was nice, man. Uh, so, I know, I know telling what. If, uh, just think of the obvious, if it had not have been, um, but 
hey, I'll come back out here tomorrow and we'll see you all for more Wacky Weather Man here, the 29th of, whew, of a, <laughs> um, of a Wacky Weather Man here, June, November 29th, 2020. And I'll see y'all then. Okay. So you guys have a groovy night. It's going to be cold tonight. Um, yep. Short, short sleeves. <laughs> Punch you in the face. But you guys have a groovy night. Your old buddy Gerald Wacky Weather Man here. November 28, 2020. It was a beautiful ride along today. Anyway, I'll see you guys later, all right? You guys just enjoy. Let me know what you think about the home place, and, you know, just be nice down there because that was my stomping ground. That's where I grew up, okay? So, um, you guys, later. So, Wacky Weather Man here. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.